Are you ready for the juiciest, most scandalous tea on the block? We're about to drop some serious bombshells on Diddy's oh-so-secret love life that will leave you shook. Brace yourselves as we unveil his multiple gay affairs that have been hiding in plain sight. This is the stuff they don't want you to know, but we've got it all exclusively for you. So buckle up, darlings, and let's dive into this whirlwind of secrets and drama. Let's take you back to a time when Wendy Williams was the reigning queen of gossip, spilling tea left and right, just like your clumsy friend at a fancy party. You know, back when she was a loudmouth radio DJ in NYC, dishing all the juicy deets on Diddy's supposed secret sexuality. Yep, Wendy went there. She even hinted that Hollywood insiders were just waiting for Diddy to come out and own his truth. But let me tell you, that tea got cold real quick when Wendy and Diddy made amends in 2017. They had a little kumbaya moment on her show, and she apologized for her past shadiness. Aw, how cute, right? Fast forward a couple of years, and singer Jaguar Wright decided to stir that pot again. She spilled some piping hot tea, claiming that a lawyer who used to work with Diddy told her about catching R&B singer Christopher Williams performing, ahem, a certain act on Diddy. Girl, the drama! Jaguar went on to say that Diddy allegedly demanded this as proof of his power. I mean, talk about a power trip, right? But wait, there's more. Diddy's ex-bodyguard, Gene Deal, added fuel to the fire by sharing some scandalous tidbits on his YouTube channel. He suggested that Diddy was sexually fluid and even claimed to have witnessed some, let's say, eyebrow-raising moments. And then next thing you know, Puff and his artists run out the room naked. Artists trying to grab a towel. The music queen J.Lo recently joined the bandwagon and spilled some serious tea about her relationship with Diddy. According to her, she contracted STDs from Diddy because he was allegedly involved in gay relationships while he was with her. Talk about a wild accusation! And who could forget when Diddy released his single, Gotta Move On, which was supposedly about his breakup with Cassie Ventura. That led to some serious side-eye from Cassie's hubby, Alex Fine, who threw some subtle shade at Diddy on social media. He wished all his LGBTQ plus friends a happy pride on his Instagram story, with a post of people holding balloons in different colors, reading love at a pride celebration, and shared resources to help people in the closet. Hum, <laughs> Diddy, hum, <laughs> move on. Now, let's not forget that Diddy's love life has been anything but dull. He's had his fair share of high-profile romances, including flings with Kim Porter, Jennifer Lopez, and even fathering a child with Missa Hilton Brim. Not to mention his more recent relationships with Cassie Ventura, Lori Harvey, and Gina Huynh. And things took an even spicier turn when Diddy recently confirmed his casual dating shenanigans with City Girls rapper Young Miami. So, are we really supposed to believe that all of these relationships were just a smokescreen? But wait, there's more. Diddy's 2019 confession about struggling with depression had everyone buzzing again. It was a hard year, he said in an Insta video. And what happened next? Fans flooded the comments, practically begging him to come out and live his truth. Talk about pressure! So, is Diddy playing the ultimate game of hide-and-seek with his sexuality? Or is he just living his best life with some fabulous ladies by his side? We may never know, but one thing's for sure, we're all waiting with bated breath to see what comes next in this never-ending saga. Oh, honey, let us spill the tea for you. So, three years ago, Diddy dropped some major hints in a song called Hope by indie rapper Blood Orange. And everyone was like, OMG, did he just come out? The video featured two men embracing, and Diddy's verse has jaws dropping. Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is going to take for me to not be afraid to be loved the way, like, What is it going to take for me? Not to be afraid to be loved the way like I really want to be loved. Can we say cryptic? It's safe to say that fans were more than convinced it was Diddy's way of coming out, especially given that other men are kissing in the video. Tyler had already come out years prior, while Asap has been labeled gay on several occasions. A year later, Diddy was once again facing gay rumors after his appearance on Nori's podcast, where he appeared to be flirting with fellow rapper Fabulous, who seemed uncomfortable with playful flirtation. 
Mr. Lee. Where, yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you when you scrambling and scraping. When you. But here's the kicker: whatever Diddy does, it's turned into a meme-worthy moment with a touch of gay sprinkled on top. Case in point, Diddy praised Lil Nas X's Teamy Bet Awards 2021 performance on Twitter, where Lil Nas X performed his hit single Montero with an all-male dance troupe in front of a throne, ending the performance with a passionate kiss with a male backup dancer. And the internet trolls couldn't resist the chance to put their two cents in. Diddy's gay, they cried, practically begging him to come out of the closet. But the plot thickens, darlings. There's talk of some disturbing things happening at Diddy's parties, with whispers about him using his influence to take advantage of young artists. If true, that's a whole new level of creepy, and we're not here for it. But for now, it's just speculation. So let's not get carried away. Diddy has been exposed for his sexual shenanigans with young male rappers. And it's not just one or two incidents, there are multiple. Looks like the family man facade that Diddy likes to put up in public is a total sham. Apparently, Diddy has a thing for luring straight men into his car and making them perform acts on him. And if you think that's bad, wait until you hear about the time he invited Method Man to his place. Instead of just being upfront about his intentions, Diddy sent someone else to trick Method Man into getting into his car. But it's not just Method Man. Another rapper, Exhibit, has come forward with his horror story. Diddy invited him home for a good time and then took him clubbing, only to find out later that the club was a very explicit gay club. Talk about deception. And let's not forget the rumors of his alleged relationship with Will Smith that have been circulating for years. But recent events have made some fans wonder if there's more to these stories. From attending alleged gay parties to claims of sexual acts with Hollywood managers, it's hard to ignore the buzz around these two. And even Diddy's former bodyguard has admitted that the two were unusually close to each other. Reports have also surfaced that Diddy slept with Usher when Usher was just 15 and Diddy was in his late 20s. Usher has also revealed that they attended orgies together when he was underage, and Diddy even pressured him into using drugs and alcohol. But the most shocking evidence came from Diddy himself when he accidentally revealed that they used to wake up in the same bed. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just uh, actually wrestle off of the off of the frosted place because he used to always get up early. <laughs> Even Jaguar Wright exposed the true nature of Diddy and Usher's relationship in a not so subtle way. She claims that young men have left their house screaming to get away from them. Actually, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. Even worse is the fact that Usher reportedly caught herpes from Diddy. Despite the drama, Diddy seems to stay above it all. He's out here living his best life, dropping verses in songs and leaving us all to wonder if he's throwing subtle hints or just playing with our heads. But wait, there's more. Diddy has also hit on a lot of straight artists in the hip-hop world, such as 50 Cent. And you know, 50 Cent isn't one to shy away from telling the truth. Yes, that's right. Our main man of 50 Cent is at it again, stirring the pot like a master chef whipping up some steaming rumors about Diddy's sexuality. But is he just trolling or telling the truth? Let's find out, shall we? He recalls Diddy hitting on him and even suggesting they go shopping together. Um, what? Diddy has a reputation for using shopping as a way to express his interest in potential love interests. When Diddy offered to take 50 Cent shopping, 50 Cent was initially surprised but ultimately unfazed. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f what the what'd you just say? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You're gonna make me mess up the wedding. Diddy's former bodyguard, Jean Deal, has also shared some interesting stories about their shopping trips. On one occasion, they visited an exotic bookstore where Diddy purchased some rather unconventional items. Now, 50 Cent isn't exactly known for his subtlety, and when it comes to Diddy, he's gone all out with the insinuations. Remember when he posted those infamous Instagram 
Instagram pics of Diddy and Rick Ross in <clears throat> compromising positions? Yeah, us too. And let's not forget about Diddy's super straight pink shirt photo op with Steve Stout. Come on, 50, don't be so coy. Then there was that infamous interview with Drink Champs, where 50 Cent outright claimed that Diddy is gay. He even went as far as insinuating that Diddy had a thing for rapper Fabulous. But 50 Cent didn't stop there, oh no. He continued to make snide remarks, dropping hints left and right about Diddy's sexuality, as if he had a personal vendetta against the music mogul. We can't help but wonder why 50 Cent has made it his life's mission to unmask Diddy. Is there some personal beef? As for Diddy, he has remained relatively tight-lipped about the whole situation. He's neither confirmed nor denied the rumors, preferring to keep his private life under wraps. In an interview on The Breakfast Club on Power 105.1 in New York City, he talked about his relationship with 50 Cent, who has been making jokes about Diddy's sexuality for years. While fans are still trying to figure out if the two are friends or enemies, Diddy claims that he has no beef with 50 Cent, and that the G-Unit entrepreneur loves him despite his Instagram posts. But we can't help but notice that the shade being thrown is enough to block out the sun, and the rumors are swirling like a tornado. It's like we're back in high school with the drama queens trying to outdo each other. So there you have it, a whirlwind of rumors, gossip, and drama, because it's never a dull moment in the world of pop culture. Thanks for tuning in. Keep your eyes peeled for more updates. Until next time!